All right, day two of trying to pipe in the roof to the main tanks. I got one done yesterday and it's a little harrowing. Just a little nerve wracking. I was just taking my time because, you know, first time I ever did anything like this. And I ran out of blue glue. Can you believe that? So, got some more PVC glue. <sighs> no more Christie's Red Hot, which is a shame because that's what I use, that's what I know. So I got this do it best. Is it the best? I don't know, we're about to find out. But it's a clear PVC glue. I think that's what a lot of people are used to seeing. So we're gonna give that a shot. We're gonna see how it works. If it doesn't work well, I'm in trouble. Do it best. Can you do it better than Christie's Red Hot? We're gonna find out. Who is crazy enough to be homesteading in the desert? Why would anyone do that? It is hot. And it's gonna get hotter. But rains are supposed to come. Maybe as soon as scheduled to be here in about a week. Some more rains. So this will definitely be done before that. Then we'll get the true test. There are some benefits to homesteading in the desert, especially the high desert. We're not as hot as Phoenix. I'm sure when we're at 100, they'll be over. They'll be over 110, 110 or over. That's hot. And in the winter times, it does get cold. At night, it can be, it can get freezing. But during the day, very nice, comfortable temperatures. All right, let's get this in the ground. I kind of had to dig out this corner a little bit just so that the 90 doesn't have an issue coming around this corner and heading back out this way. Oh. One little thing we had to do in order to make this piping work is that I didn't have quite the right angle for the second pipe to come down to the main tank. And I tried looking at a number of different attachments, the 90s, the 45, and nothing quite worked out. So I kind of had to cheat a little bit, is what I did. I had to use the heat gun a little bit and bend that pipe so that it could fit around that corner nicely. I didn't want to do it, but I think it was kind of necessary at the time because I didn't want to do more digging and I think it'll work just fine.
We're getting there. Time to start heading on up. Echo! Echo! Alright, so I'm on day three of working on this plumbing. I probably could have got it done yesterday, but it was getting a little late. But I did a little dry run with the pipe going from a little clean out and going up over to the tank. And it's looking pretty good. Much better than the other one I did. <laughs> so now that I got that in place, I kind of marked out where I need to drill. I'm gonna need to drill into this tank like I did the other one, attach the pipes and get that in. All right, it's about to go down right now. Come along. I'd say this is the part that has me the most nervous, is drilling into these water tanks because once you do that, that's it. And these things aren't cheap. So when I do it, it's gotta be just right. Double check my measurements, double check where uh, everything lands. So we should be good. But still, once you drill, you can't go back. But I love the echo from this pipe. This pipe gives me a really good echo. I know this is incredibly childish. I can't help this. I could do this all day long. But I got things I gotta drill. I got tanks I gotta drill. Ah! <laughs> Success. I take my time drilling this thing because like I said, I don't want to make any mistakes. But now that I got my hole in here, I want to get this attached ASAP. I need to get this filled. Now I just had this idea. It'd probably be pretty obvious to some people, but it just came to me. Now I need this 90 to face a particular direction. It's gotta be pretty close to accurate to get right in there. So what I'm gonna do is use this marker, make a mark on my 90 and my pipe. That way when I glue it, I can get it exactly to where I need it to be. And hopefully it lines up. I think it's looking pretty good. Now I just need to cut a length of PVC to get me from my 90 up into here. It's gonna be a hot one today, getting up to 100 degrees. I definitely wanna get this done ASAP, but still can't rush, so it's kinda of one of those things. Seems kinda of crazy to be using a heat gun when it's about to be 100 degrees outside. I got it into where I want it to be. This is pretty good. Now I'm pretty sure I've collapsed the pipe a little bit on the inside. It's probably all folded up. So what I'm gonna do now is actually heat it on the inside and kind of flare it out. That way it'll kind of lock it into place. Well, this is another project in the bag. And this project has been a long time coming. If you think about it, the whole roof thing kind of leads up to this. So really I've been working on this since almost the beginning of the year. And now the year is half over. I finally got things plumbed into the main water tanks. This is crazy exciting. I can't even begin to describe how this makes me feel. So all that I did to finish this off, once I got the pipe inside, was just put a bead of caulk around the inside of the tank as well as outside of the tank. And I did this not really to keep water from flowing out. Hopefully it never reaches that height, that means you gotta deal with overflow and we'll definitely be working on that. Really, I added the caulk just to keep that airtight seal because as soon as there's a little bit of moisture, as soon as any kind of bugs or creepy crawlies uh, know that there's water around, they're going to try and get in there. 
and it's basically to kind of seal anything from trying to sneak in there. Even light. If light can sneak in there, critters get in there, I could really do bad things to your water supply. So definitely my way of just kind of sealing all that out, no light, no creepy crawlies, should be able to get into here. So definitely, thanks a lot for joining us. Really appreciate you checking this out. This project took me probably about a few days to do. It probably didn't need to take that long, but when that, whenever doing anything new, especially when something so important as this, as to our sort of water viability, I definitely wanted to take my time and make sure I was doing everything kind of how I needed to do it. This would probably be about the time where I would backfill this trench, but I'm not going to, not yet. I want to see how the system is working before filling everything in. Just to make sure no unintended surprises, make sure everything's working right, that way I don't gotta redig everything. <laughs> make sure no, no little leakages, you never know. So now that this project is done, just needs water. And that could be any time. Around monsoon season, you never know. We could get rain today. Either way, I'm bringing you guys along for that and we're gonna see how this thing works. So definitely stick around. All right, we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.